We are officially in the month of February, and you know what that means if you're a Nintendo fan. We are all on high alert for an official announcement for a February Nintendo Direct to take place, and I personally don't think we even need to look at the leaks, rumors, or inside information suggesting that this event will be happening because I think if you just look at history, it is a big staple event for Nintendo, and it's fairly safe to expect it every year. Although I will say that with the uncertainty around how and when Nintendo might reveal their next hardware this year in 2020, that there is some reasonable doubt on maybe Nintendo breaks the trend from their traditional time slots for their Nintendo Direct presentations just because they might be planning something different around their hardware this year. But you probably saw we got a Donkey Kong versus Mario overview trailer and demo reveal just the other day, and this sparked up some concern from Nintendo fans around the event. Maybe not happening. Well, you're in the right place if you were someone worried because we're going to go over a couple different data points that now point to next week looking like the most likely week for it to take place, although that is not confirmed. It does indeed seem that that's what people who have sources within the gaming industry are hearing, and we're going to get on the same page with all the exact details. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification to join Sunburn Nation if you're new here, and we have to first talk about Special Nick. Now, this is somebody who has, I would say, a good track record overall. They definitely have inside information. Most recently, they leaked almost the entirety of the State of Play presentation from Sony. Uh, also, on that no, I mean, we've had Microsoft and Sony go. It just seems like the logical thing to expect Nintendo next, but they definitely have inside sources within the gaming industry because there's too much on the list of what they predicted for the state of play that, of course, was at the event, even exact title reveals and things like that. Although I will clarify that this individual is not feeling as confident in this Nintendo Direct information as they were with the state of play info that they had, and we'll break all of that down, but I want to first kick it off with the following article over at my Nintendo. Nintendo news around these leaks, which reads, Leakers tease Nintendo Direct for next week. Two video game leakers have stated that there's a Nintendo Direct presentation planned for next week. The first is Special Nick, who stated it on Nintendo Prime's YouTube channel, and the second is a reliable leaker, Bill Bill Coon, who posted a cryptic message on social media platform X. Nintendo generally holds a Direct in February, so it wouldn't be too surprising. As to what it will contain, well, that will have to stay a surprise unless someone spills the beans. Nintendo hasn't mentioned a Nintendo Direct, so we will have to wait and see what transpires on that front. Now to add some more context to this, Special Nick did tweet out the following where he has this to say, I kind of wish I hadn't said anything. This isn't like the state of play situation where I was confident and put it straight out there. I had only heard it should be next week and said as much in Grub and Prime's chat. As many point out, they always do February and usually after earnings. Now in terms of Bill Bill Coon, who is a very reliable insider, we've had numerous different bundles leak from them ahead of time, like re before retail listings even go up or anything like that. We have a almost flawless track record to my knowledge from Bill Bill Coon, but he put out the following tweet, which reads, looking forward an indie game of my favorite genre. My credit card will be charged in less than 15 days so I can play it directly and without waiting. And yeah, it may be announced during one of those two upcoming events. Now this was posted on January 26th. And if you do the math, well, 15 days from then would not be the second week of February. It would have to take place within the first week with whatever game he is claiming might be there. Some people are speculating so Silk Song in the replies, although it doesn't seem like the image he posted is tied into Sil Silk Song at all. So I really don't know what to expect as far as what game he's talking about, but it does seem like he is suggesting that first week of February as well. And our last data point on this comes from Nate the Hate, where he replies to somebody asking him if he's heard anything about the upcoming Direct, and he says yes, but not a date or timing. So if you really want to play it safe and not get your hopes up towards next week happening, at the very least, I think we can safely say that we are going to get a traditional February Nintendo Direct at this point in time with all of these different data points. Now, we can't for sure say that it's going to be next week, but that is sounding like the most logical timeline for it to take place, and that is also what people are hearing. And if you look at the calendar, considering it does line up with Nintendo's investors meeting yet again, and they've had more recently a history of doing Directs right in the same week because those investor briefings, it does line up with that. And if you were worried that because we are in new hardware reveal year that we might not get a traditional Nintendo Direct, it sounds like we don't have that to worry about at all. Nintendo will continue to showcase games that they want to put forward towards the beginning of the year. It's business as usual. They are in a different spot right now when it comes to the position that they are in within the market and how successful the Switch is continuing to sell. And even though they have big plans for their next gen hardware, it doesn't mean they don't still have games to talk about and market to us in the beginning of the year for the Nintendo Switch. As I mentioned, Microsoft and Sony have already gone. These companies want to get 
out and communicate with their fans towards the beginning of the year and create that momentum for their software sales. And I don't think there's any reason to expect Nintendo not to hold their traditional Nintendo Direct. There is the small possibility that they don't have a ton to show here. And we could end up seeing something like a Nintendo Direct Mini. If you just want to ultimately bring down your expectations, that's maybe a safe bet to kind of expect, but I'm actually expecting a full-blown mainline general direct, and I just don't think it's going to have a ton of groundbreaking announcements. I don't think we're going to get the next 3D Mario there. I don't think we're going to get a Switch 2 lineup blowout where we kind of find out about everything that's going to be launching with the Nintendo Switch 2, because clearly Nintendo's not going to have time to announce their brand new hardware ahead of this direct, and we will likely have a separate event to go over what that hardware is and maybe have a big game or two even featured within the presentation, such as a 3D Mario that does sound like it will indeed be the launch game for Nintendo's next generation hardware. But I do think we will get some fun announcements at this upcoming presentation. We have a lot of the smaller stuff out of the way. As I mentioned, Mario vs. Donkey Kong got that overview trailer and a demo put out. We also have Princess Peach Showtime getting another trailer ahead of the Nintendo Direct as well. We have Splatoon 3 getting the launch date for its DLC. A lot of things have already kind of been put out that Nintendo would maybe throw into a presentation like that. But I do think games like Princess Peach Showtime will get some kind of look. It might even just be included in like a sizzle reel trailer or something as they're going through a, a number of different announcements. But then I think we're going to continue to see more of those ports and remasters and even NSO maybe being a sizable portion of the event. I definitely think that Metroid Prime 2 Remastered makes all the sense in the world to be at this event and it's likely a shadow drop game. We even had Hi-Fi Rush get data mined recently and while amongst all the rumors that that would be headed to Nintendo Switch. It now seems like it for sure is because there's literally a red and a blue shirt that was data mined from Hi-Fi Rush signifying like Nintendo and Sony. It sounds like it's going to every platform and Nintendo will probably be the one to reveal it since it wasn't at the Sony state of play. And that could be yet another shadow drop game that's definitely a win to have on the Nintendo Switch. And then if Nintendo doesn't have a lot cooking with new games content, could it finally be the time for Twilight Princess and Wind Waker to make their appearance? Now, I'm not setting my hopes, dreams, or expectations on those games happening at all anymore, but I do think that they will still come over sooner or later. And so they're gonna fall on my direct predictions list just about every event until we finally see them happen because I just think it makes too much sense not to resell those, not to put them on a system that has over 130 plus million users compared to the Wii U, which had 13 million. Like, obviously, Nintendo knows they have an easy cash grab there with those particular games. And I think with NSO being in a situation right now where we really don't have any kind of games roadmap for GBA or for N64, it's time to communicate some big heavy hitter titles that might be around the corner on those particular systems. I don't think we're going to get any new consoles at this event, but we might see an NSO segment with some more hype titles that we can expect to be added in throughout the course of 2024. And and then the big wild card for me is whether or not we might see something like a DK game be the big show closer. I do think it's entirely possible that DK returns at this event and that we do see like a 2D game, especially if it is a 2D game. I think it might come out on the Nintendo Switch that we have today, but if not, it may indeed be saved for next generation and some big push into 3D for DK. We'll have to see what happens with that. It's literally 10 years as of February since we've had an original Donkey Kong game, which is crazy. And if it's not DK, could we finally get a look at something like Metroid Prime 4 for the show closer and then we at least find out it's a 2024 game and maybe it's slated for the launch window of the Nintendo Switch 2 even though we won't know that for sure since the hardware hasn't been officially revealed but you get the idea there's a lot of exciting possibilities I'm not anticipating a ton of brand new games but I do think that there will be enough to keep us excited towards the beginning part of 2024 then once we get past March and April in that time window I think Nintendo will have their hardware revealed and that means the possibilities completely open up when we talk about the June Nintendo Direct and September Nintendo Direct. So that's really where I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video. Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling about the likelihood for a February Nintendo Direct. Do you think that next week is indeed the week and that this is good information floating around online? Do you think it's the week after or maybe even more towards the end of February? And what games are you most excited to hopefully see revealed at this upcoming showcase? Or are you somebody who does think Nintendo's in an off cycle year and we actually won't be getting 
getting one towards the beginning of the year. I don't feel that way, but I'd love to hear your thought process if you do. So regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before we leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.